Hi, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to a new video. Today's video is going to be this makeup tutorial here, which is my basically holiday glam. So like summer skin, glowy, all cream products, super quick and easy, literally took me 15 minutes I want to say so if you want to get some inspiration for kind of what to do for your holiday makeup if you go on holiday this summer hopefully or if not if you want to just kind of sport this in the UK then please keep watching. We actually have a little friend today which is cute and I have no one else to blame but myself because I had a little blackhead and I picked it which is exactly what I preach that you shouldn't do but this is the result so use me as an example if you have like spots blackheads whatever do not pick them because this is the result it was literally flat before there was barely anything there i had like a magnifying glass to get it and now this is the result that i am dealing with so don't pick your face i'm gonna actually start with my face today because when i'm on holiday i don't really like to do a lot on the eyes unless i'm going for like a really bright eye just for like an everyday kind of holiday glowy summer skin vibe I like to keep the eyes pretty neutral, it's all about the skin and you want it to be super glowy, super dewy, super tanned, all of that good stuff. So we're going to start with the face today. The first thing that I'm going to do is I'm actually going to prep my face with this Iconic London Prep Set Glow Spray. And this is in, it comes in like two shades, like a pearl shade and then like a brown or a bronze, whatever you want to call it. So I have the darker shade. I'm just going to shake this up. And I don't know if I've got like a bit of a, a dud, but the spritz are on mine isn't the best okay it worked that time but usually it comes out in like splashes so I don't really like to use this to set my face because I had an experience where I did my full makeup and then I sprayed it on my face and then I just had like brown dots everywhere which was not a look so I'm going to use this to prep so at least I get it on my skin but just in the beginning so if it goes wrong we can fix it also don't know how this is going to work out with the white shirt so I'm going to have to like really try and be careful <laughs> okay did that go on the shirt oh no <laughs> okay yeah i've just got it all over my shirt i did just get that all over the white shirt so if you are going to use that maybe don't wear a white shirt i've actually just went and quickly scrubbed that because i didn't want it to stain so Mind the little wet patch. Anyways, moving on. So like I say, I'm gonna start with the face. I've sprayed that setting spray. And then what I like to use when I'm on holiday is usually always a tinted moisturizer. Obviously, I will hopefully have a little bit more of a tan than this, but the tinted moisturizer that I have in the minute is a little bit darker than my skin tone. So we're gonna fake it till we make it. I also picked up this, which I've not tried yet, which is new. And it's the Revlon Times Ashley Graham Tropical Vibes Golden Lava Face and Body. Yeah, so I picked this up in actually TK Maxx of all places. I was having a little rummage in the makeup section. I've seen this, which I've not seen before. So I got it for like half the price that it's supposed to be. But it is meant to be a liquid bronzer, but I feel like I might mix a little bit of this in with my Laura Mercier tinted moisturizer just to give it a little bit more of one a brown color and two also a glow so I'm going to mix both of these I've not actually used this yet I only bought it a couple of days ago but so I guess we're gonna we're gonna try it out we're gonna try it out let's see it might be a disaster might be super cute let's just see I feel like I've wore the complete wrong outfit for this video I'm gonna do like oh this is a bit messy so I'm going to do a little bit of this on the back of my hand. I've spoke about this Laura Mercier tinted moisturiser before. It's almost like a very light coverage foundation. So I'm just going to mix in not that much. Don't really know. And then I'm just going to mix it together with my huge Real Technique sponge. Let's see. Okay, it's definitely made it a little bit darker and actually give it a little bit of a sheen. Can you see that glow? Okay, I'm here for it. Let's continue. I feel like I might need a little bit more. I might have not done enough. So we might go in with a second layer. But I'm loving that bronzer mixed in. 
feel like it does look really natural like really is like a your skin but better kind of vibe this would be perfect for like daytime on holiday if you want to put like makeup on by the pool but you don't want to have like makeup on or if you go to like a beach club or you want something just like super fresh and glowy i feel like this will be perfect for them this is the vibe that is one layer applied i'm just going to go with a little bit more because i do have obviously this friend right here and a couple of little scars here and one here and here that i do like to cover up so i'm just going to try and cover that up a little bit more with those products and then if not i will have to go in and conceal those little areas up so that is two layers of the mixture of the tinted moisturizer and the body glow face lava whatever it's called and i'm actually really enjoying that i think it looks really natural really glowy and it looks a lot more brown than it does off camera the the camera's kind of washing it out a little bit but it is like a really bronze kind of vibe but like i said for me it's not enough coverage in these little areas so i am just going to conceal those i'm going to use my nars radiant creamy concealer but any concealer that you like to spot conceal and i'm just going to cover up the areas where i have my little red marks and also this guy this guy right here and i'm just going to use the same big sponge and just blend that out and that's just giving a little bit more coverage. While we're here with the concealer, I am just going to conceal under my eyes. Again, the NARS Radiant Creamy. And just like that. When I'm on holiday, or in general, I mean, you don't have to be on holiday. If you want to go for, like, glowy summer vibe skin, I really like to use a lot of cream products. I don't really like to go in with too much powder because I feel like that can make your face look a little bit dry and a little bit cakey. So I just really like to focus on the cream products. So I'm just going to use the same sponge to blend that out. Like there really is no need for 45 different brushes and sponges. I really should have just pushed my hair back for this video because I feel like I've been stood like this for like the last 10 minutes. I'm actually going to use this, well I'm going to try and use this as a liquid bronzer over the top of it mixed in with the foundation. I don't know if that's going to show up very well because obviously I'm putting the same colour on top but I'm going to give it a go if not I do have other liquid bronzers I can use but I would like to see kind of how this holds up on top of a foundation if you like so I'm just going to use the same sponge again I'm just going to put a few dots on my face trying not to get this on my shirt just like that and a little bit up here and a little bit on this side okay and then I'm just going to use the exact same I'm trying not to like move so I get this in my hair <laughs> let me just okay I'm just gonna use that same big sponge and just blend that out and see how that looks mm. it's kind of blended out almost to nothing I think that's partly to do with the consistency of the bronzer it's very liquid so if maybe he's use a big sponge like this it just kind of disappears and also to do with the fact I kind of do already have it on. So maybe it's just struggling to show up a little bit. But can you just see how quickly this just kind of... Oh, it looks like it's blended a little bit there. Not so much on this side. Oh, you know what? It's not so bad. I feel like you can see it a little bit. It's not like giving the most bronze vibes. But if you're going for like a really natural look, then... I feel like this would do the trick see how it fares just like this and then obviously if i feel like i want to add more i will but for now i think we're good i feel like i'm quite quite enjoying that you can definitely see it's like very glowy also please excuse my nails since the travesty of the thumb in the car door and this is what the nail looks like i just can't with the rest of the nails i can't <laughs> i can't do nine well, no, nine <laughs> nice nails and then this monstrosity i'd rather just not bother so this is what they're looking like i don't know when they'll be fixed so for now please mind the nails how many times can i do this in the space of 10 seconds moving on the next cream product we're going to use is cream highlighter and i feel like i am very glowy already because i mean i've put this on twice but this is definitely more of a bright gold rather than like a brown so i'm going to use this just to highlight on my cheekbones a little bit above my eyebrow maybe on my cupid's bow maybe also on my nose basically just all over my face and yeah let's see how we get on i like to apply this just directly to my face i always do like three drops there two drops there
and then I just use whatever's left over on the sponge to do my nose and my lip and again you can just really you can use the same sponge if you're packing to go away on holiday there really is no need for 45 different makeup brushes and 10 different sponges like you really can just use the same sponge this sponge is big enough that you can use, oh, that was me again. this sponge is big enough that you can use just different areas of it or if you wanted to you could take away with you like a um quick spray that you can basically just spray the sponge and it cleans it or you could literally just run it under the tap with some soap that would clean it too but there really is no need for like an excessive amount of brushes and sponges i've pretty much well i have so far done my whole face with this one sponge and i really don't think i'm gonna need anything else let's see let's see if i can do this whole thing with no makeup brushes that would be interesting wouldn't it one sponge one sponge <laughs> a one sponge makeup routine That is what it looks like with the highlighter blended in. I feel like we are super glowy and holiday vibes right now. All we need now is the holiday to go with it. I'm just gonna finish up the face while we're here. So I'm gonna go in with blush straight away and you already guessed it, I'm gonna use a cream blush. I used this one in my no makeup makeup routine. I absolutely love it. It's the MAC Versicolor Stain. So this is actually perfect for taking on holiday because I guess you could use this as an eyeshadow, a blush, a lipstick, uh, face paint whatever you want to use it as because it is like what's the word what's the word when you can use something different times I'm not sure but I use it as a blush <laughs> and I just do like three dots on either side and then I always blend this out with my finger because I find that it's so thin if you use a sponge it just disappears so I literally just tap this out with my finger and it looks really scary at first but it just blends out so beautifully and then whatever's left on my finger I always bring onto my nose and it just gives you that nice little sun kissed look I always bring it quite high as well because then it almost gives you that like sunburnt look on your cheeks which is just like super cute for holiday so this is what the face is looking like super glowy, super fresh, super dewy super holiday vibes i'm really into it i would definitely wear this on a night time now that i've seen how it looks like the face all together maybe just with a little bit more on the eyes or like a lash or something like that i feel like that would look super fresh for the eyes i'm actually gonna try out this cream base this is the yellow topaz cream color base and i used this as a highlighter but i'm gonna try this on my eyes i've seen that like glossy eyelid vibe going on and i've not really got anything that i could use for that other than like a cream base like this so i'm just going to take some on my finger and put it on my eyelids and see what happens okay you can't really see it that much let me do a bit more it's just gave like a little bit of a sheen like you can see this eye has nothing and this eye has the base on it if you have really oily eyelids i would maybe definitely stay away from this because i feel like that is just going to crease every single time you blink but don't know if not give it a go glossy eyelids i guess you could always set it with a shadow afterwards if you wanted to like just in the crease just to make sure that it doesn't crease that is what the shadow looks like it really is like super minimalistic like you can barely see it but it just gives a tiny little bit of a lift and a tiny little bit of color to the eyelids so i actually do enjoy that like i say if you have oily eyelids probably steer away from that i'm gonna jump over to mascara now and i'm gonna use the l'oreal telescopic black mascara if you want long natural thin looking lashes this is the best scar mascara this is the best mascara it has the finest wand and it just really gets every single lash. So I'm just gonna coat my lashes in this and then I'll be right back. Still stand by that this is the best mascara in the world. Like, it's fire. I'm gonna quickly fill in my brows with the, this is the Lord and Berry Perfect Brow Magic Pencil Definer in the shade Brunette. It's basically just an eyebrow pencil. So it's a pencil on one side and then a spoolie on the other side. I just like to keep my brows really natural when I'm on holiday. I would sometimes do soap brows, but I feel like for this look, I'm just literally gonna flush up, flush up, fluff up my natural brows, and then just fill in the sparse areas. I feel like when I'm on holiday, I'm quite lazy with how I like to get ready. Like I like to spend the longest amount of time at the pool, literally go up about 
45 minutes before I need to be ready to leave, shower, ready, go. Like, I don't really like to go up and spend two hours getting ready. It's hot, especially when you're like drying your hair, straightening and curling your hair. Like you're hot, you're bothered, you sat trying to put makeup on, it's just sweating off. Like I like to keep it really quite simple and quick and I feel like soap brows, that's time consuming. I'm literally just gonna fill in my natural brows and then go from there. Literally just using the pencil just to create hair like strokes and just fill in the sparse areas every now and again, just kind of brushing the pencil up to make it look a bit more natural. That is literally all I'm gonna do. So you can see the difference between this one's done and this one isn't. It's just a little bit fuller and a little bit thicker and that is literally all I'm gonna do. So I'm just gonna do the same on the other side. So that is the eyebrows done and pretty much, we're pretty much done. I'm gonna move on to lips next. So for lips on holiday, I always like to keep it glossy. I feel like it looks super fresh, like a pink glossy lip. I just feel like it's unmatched with glowy tan skin, a pina colada, your hair blown in the breeze on the beach. I can picture it now. So I'm gonna go in and line my lips. I'm gonna use MAC Spice Liner and I'm just gonna slightly overline as always. Top tip for your lips looking like super soft is put Vaseline on just before you apply the lip liner and the lip liner will just like glide rather than drag and then you end up with like a jagged line when it pulls. You put Vaseline on like, I, I do it just before I start my makeup so by the time I'm finished my makeup it's just like still there and the lip liner just glides a lot easier. Then I'm going to go in with the NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Tiramisu. These are literally one of the best lip glosses. They're about five or six pound each and I basically have them in every single neutral pink kind of shade that they come in. They're so nice, they're not sticky, they're really pigmented so if you don't want to use a lipstick underneath you could use this and this is like a really nice pinky nude kind of colour and I'm just going to use this in the centre of my lips. I feel like that just gives such a nice colour obviously without a lipstick or anything underneath. I feel like that's really quite pigmented enough on its own. And just like that, we are finished, I guess, at this point, if you wanted to go in with powders that you could, but I feel like this just looks super fresh. I am gonna leave it. You could do like a powder bronzer over the top. You could just like set the T-zone, I guess, if you're gonna get a little bit oily in the same on your eyelids. But I think this is where I'm gonna leave it for today. I guess you could just interpret this how you will. I'm actually loving the way that this turned out and I'm especially loving this tropical vibes golden lava face and body. I feel like this would be so nice if you had like an off the shoulder shirt or top to like put on your chest and put on your shoulders. I feel like that would just like glimmer in the sun and look gorge. So I am really, really loving this. And get yourself down to TK Maxx if you want to get it for half the price. I think it was supposed to be on the sticker. I think it was 19 99 I think I got it for seven, roughly. So something like that. Loving that. That's a yes from me. That will definitely be coming in my suitcase when I go on holiday, as will the rest of these products, because I actually am really enjoying how this turned out. If you've made it to the end of the video, thank you so, so much for watching. And I hope you enjoyed the finished result and it inspires you with your holiday glowy summer skin glam, whatever you want to call it. I would really appreciate it if while you're here, you would like, comment and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.